Hello. So this is take three, take one, my camera froze, take two, I didn't like it, so this is take three. Um, another thing, I definitely just spent before attempting to vlog the past like 15 minutes trying to get the lighting right because I was trying to vlog in the dark and my face looked like a ghost, so that's why all the lights are on in the kitchen behind me. Um, you get to see my kitchen. So today's vlog is obviously about the new horsey, yay! Um, I've actually known for a little bit that I wasn't supposed to put anything about anything about trying horses, about sitting on horses, about buying horses. I'm really not even supposed to be saying that I have a horse right now per my mom, but that's okay. But I kept it, I, I kept the whole trying process a secret, which was more than, which was dictated by more than just my mother. So um, I was impr I was very proud of myself for not saying anything. Okay, start with the bottom. Oh my god, details, name, age, height, breed, height, everything. Okay, um, his name. So, the horse, he's from Guatemala, but he was born in Italy, but he's been with this woman in Guatemala, and he was her amateur owner horse. And he, um, I don't like his name, and I can't spell it, and I can't really pronounce it, so I'm changing it. And I wanted to stick with the cast thing. Um, all the CAS things all sound the same, and it all sounds like Casalo and Cascadini, so I didn't want to keep that. So I would love, love, love to name him Cascade, like the DJ, however, that's already taken by two horses that are fairly notable. So, no Cascade. But I did find a word after many days of research, um, it's Sanskrit, and it's Kasar, K-A-S-A-R-R, -R, and it means like in the essence of a lion, or resembling a lion. So his name is going to be Kassar, and my sister doesn't know we have him yet, and I don't think she's going to be too happy when she finds out, but um, I kind of discreetly tried to get her to give us a barn name, and her first thing that comes to mind is Benny. So I think his barn name is going to be Benny, so at least she named the horse. Um, age, he's eight this year, he's 2005 baby. Breed, I actually don't know that, um, I've never, like, I don't have the, I've sat on the horse once, I don't have him in my possession, like I said he's from Guatemala so he doesn't really have a Yusef number or anything so I couldn't look too much up, so I don't really know much about him, but I'll answer what I do know, but I do not know his breed, but like I said he was born in Italy, um, height, probably like 16 ish something like that, 16-2, bay gelding, uh, give us all the details, age, breed, what you're going to do, uh, he's going to be my junior jumper, um, I would presume we would start out in the lows, and we'll go from there. He's been doing meter 20, meter, tw meter 20, meter 30, meter 35, that kind of stuff. Um, up, he did up to the medium amateurs in Palm Beach, and he actually won a couple classes in Palm Beach, which was really cool. He's, he's fun. He's like really fast, and turns really easy, and is really, really competitive and wants to win, but he's not, he's not hot per se, but he definitely, um, he was the perfect combination. There's a couple horses that we tried in Palm Beach. There's one that I liked that was really hot and really cat-like, but just, I mean, like a fireball. And then there was another one that was really, really sweet and not necessarily hot and fast, but kind of rode like a hunter. And this one, he's like the perfect combination of both of them. So um, he was actually the second to last horse we sat on. And I was really getting frustrated. I was like, oh, we're not finding a horse, whatever. And then we sat on him and it was like, oh, perfect. So um, things worked out. Um, I got a new horse, details. Yes, I did get a new horse and details, I'm working on that. Uh, tell us everything about him or her. Um, is it because you didn't want your dad to know or does he already know about the new horse? No, it's not about my dad. My dad doesn't know as far as I know. Um, but it's, I mean, I don't, it's fine if he finds out. What I'm more concerned about is my sister. She's kind of weird and doesn't handle stuff like that the best so um it's it's nothing that she's not it's not that she's gonna be upset about it. it's not that we're gonna keep it a secret from her but she has a really big volleyball tournament this weekend like i mean huge big big deal and um we don't want her to be preoccupied with the fact that i got a new horse so she doesn't know yet and the reason i changed my url was so that she couldn't look at it per se and find out and I mean, my dad doesn't know, and if he does, I mean, if he finds out, that's fine, but I, he, I don't need him to tell her either, so theoretically he won't see it by changing the URL. If he does see it, that's fine. Just, he, please, Dad, if you're watching this, don't, don't tell Katie. 
Um, what was it like trying him? How did you know he was the one? What is his personality like? So you get on him, and he's interesting. He's not the most fun horse in the most fun He's okay. I don't think I did said that right. He's he's not the most enjoyable horse to flat. He it's not that he does anything wrong. But he just gets kind of lazy and he you know, puts his head up and kind of gets behind your leg and just kind of like eh, you know ponyish almost. And you pick up the canter and I remember I got on and I'm cantering around and I'm like oh my god like how does this horse make it down the lines like his stride's itty bitty. And then we started jumping him and I'm like oh he's a cute little pony jump like he kind of rocks back and tucks his knees and that was fun. And then the jumps get bigger and. Mm, cute little pony jump, whatever, and the jumps get bigger and then bigger, and pretty soon I'm cantering up to this vertical, and it's at the top of the standards, and I can just remember, mm, you know, cantering up. First of all, I'm in the twenty dollar ring at West, like tiny ring, right, with a million and one ponies running around. I'm cantering up to this vertical, and I'm just thinking to myself, I never jumped this big in my life. I have no idea how to find a distance to this, like. None. No earthly idea. So we're just cantering up to this jump and I'm like, I really hope I don't mess this up and I really hope you know what to do with this. Like, please do something. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And he was really, really cool and really good. I mean, we, like, I can't even tell you how big we were jumping. He was big though. And so that, and he just went. Like, he's, he's cool because like, you know, he clears the jumps and he's, he's very careful. And when I mean, you look at the pictures, he jumps high, but he, he doesn't jump you out of the tack, which was nice. And I messed out on a bunch of horses, so that was really, really cool. And so we did that, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm a little worried about his stride, so can we just do a line? And we, they put the line up to like, meter mm, 35 probably. And I jumped down this outside, and it was a six, and I got there, and I'm like, one, two, three, four, oh my God, we're getting there at five and a half. And so his stride's really big. I don't know why I thought it was a, just, they, the lady told me, she was like, you know, he's gonna be kind of lazy at the, at the uh, when you're hacking him but he lights up over the jumps and he lights up over the jumps that's for sure so which is awesome like that's kind of what one of the things I liked about Cass was you know you got in the ring he was not that much fun to flat but you got in the ring and he was like electric in it that was his groove and this horse is kind of like that um how did I know he was the one when I'm carrying up to a vertical that I don't even know or a vertical ox or whatever that I don't even know what the height of it is and I'm like hey, I have no idea how to find a distance please make it work and he did um, what's his personality like? Honestly, I met the horse for 20 minutes. Like, he like I said, he was one. We got the call. It was the last day I was down there to try him, and the guy called Jack and was like, "Hey, I found a horse for you guys. I mean, he won an amateur class yesterday, and he's um he's really cool. You guys should come try him." So we just went over to the ring, sat on him, and liked him. And then we're like, "Well, I mean, we got nothing to lose, so he's like the best one." So we um we got him, but he um. Um, I can't really tell you what his personality like is my point. Um, from my vet has been calling me daily. She's like super on board and super excited, which is awesome. She said he's really, really sweet and kind of like a sense of personal space, but realistically, none of my horses have any sense of personal space, so whatever. Um, but he's like just really kind and like interested in life and like bright and happy, so which is nice because I don't want a horse with a grumpy personality. Casal is an exception. <laughs> Um, how long do I have him for? I just got a text from Mommy Lizzie. What would happen if I named my next horse Boo Boo Princess Sparkles? Well, Mommy Lizzie, this is now on vlog. It's going to be um, advertised to my followers. So, uh, what do you guys think of the name Boo Boo Princess Sparkles? How hilarious would that be if I wa every time she walked into the ring? I agree. Anyways, um, how long do I have him for? What will I show him and how high can he show? When will you start showing him? Are, are you excited? Are you, how long do you, have you known that you're going to lease him? Is he the one that you tried in Wellington? How long, okay, we'll start with the first one. How long do I have him for? Well, Anon, we bought him. So I'm not leasing, we own. Um, what will I show him in? Um, definitely lows, def pro definitely mediums. Jack was saying he might, he could, should be able to do the meter 40s around here. We'll see here if we go. He's going to be my horse to ride in college, so I don't really know if I'm going to want to jump meter 40 when I'm not riding and consistently practicing and 
you know, meter 20, meter 25, that's meter 30, like, that's, I'm, that's good, man, like, I'm happy with that, so, we'll see, you know, he's, he's gonna be fun, though, that's, that's the most important part, you know, he'll be, just to, just to do the jumpers, most, you know, in my area, like, the Conyers shows, the Aiken shows, jumpers don't feel like Cam did, blowing around, like, that kind of stuff, so, nothing, I'm not, like, I'm gonna go do a Grand Prix, like, no, ever, no. Um, when will I start showing him? I'll take him to Aiken in, well, not the next week, not the next week, but the next week. He's coming home with Liza's Derby horses on Monday, so I'll get to ride him all next week in the next couple of weeks, but, uh, the jumpers don't fill in Camden, so we're not going to show him there. I'll show him in Aiken. I'll do both weeks. Um, am I excited? Yeah, like, of course. How long have I known that I was going to lease him? Bye. Um, I mean, I left Palm Beach knowing we were getting him, so two weeks, three weeks, almost, yeah, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Um, no. Two and a half, three weeks, something like that. Is he the one I tried in Wellington? Um, I tried like 17 horses in Wellington, so yes, he is one of them. How tall and breed? Um, breed like tall, like 16-1, don't, don't know the breed. Um, that's it. So did I cover everything? I got how old he was. He's coming eight. He's about 16, 1, 16, 2. I think. I don't really know. Like, I don't know. I thought he was small, but apparently he was bigger than I thought he was. The lady that all the pictures I'm posting, I mean, she's tiny. Like, she's super nice, but she's, I mean, she's tiny. Um, name, age, breed. Um, name, I told you we're going to name him Kassar. Bar name, Benny. I think. I don't know. We might just end up calling him Kassar. Um, then what he's been doing. He's been doing up to the medium amateurs. What he can do. You know, he's a meter 30 horse. That, he's a really, really good meter 30 horse. He could probably maybe attempt the local meter 40s. I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do when we get him. Um, like I said, I have no idea. So don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, pretty much, um, he'll, like I said, he'll be home Monday, and I'm going to Camden Tuesday, or Wednesday, so I'll get pictures and post pictures, and maybe I'll get, like, a video of me riding him or something, so we can actually watch him jump around. Um, yup, pretty much, so, yeah, I'm excited, glad you guys are excited, too, um, I'll keep you guys updated. Adios.